just got to know. There's nothing left to say And nothing you could do There is no other way When it comes to the truth So keep moving on guys welcome and sorry i'm a bit late i've uh, had a lot going on here but we finally made it and we have a semi-summer classic game between wraith and wild hide so i'm finally here to stream this i've had uh, workmen at home all day and they've literally only just left so this has been the uh, fastest setting up of a stream i have done but i'm here the players are ready and we are already into game one. Thank you patiently for waiting. Let's have a look. So first matchup is a fixed matchup. And in the top in red with the demolition, we have Wraith. And at the bottom of the screen, also with the demolition general, we have Wildhide. It's going to be interesting how they play this. Wildhide is um, going for an early box, which is always a pretty good thing to do in GLA mirrors for that technical harass on the supply line. Wraith, though, looks like he's uh, showing a bit more intent to uh, secure this area. I like the terrorist rally here. Will he spot this worker, though? In guys, as I'm new to this, just uh, give me feedback in chat about the uh, sounds, how the game sounds are versus the voice sounds. Much appreciated. So here we go. Yeah, denied. I'd like to see the RPG come over and follow up. Wraith seems to be doing that. 
What is Wild Hide doing behind this? So he is preparing a TT here. Always a crucial element of GLA mirrors is if someone's going for the TT, will they get it in? Wraith's prepared one as well, so let's see. As these technicals come across the map, who's going to be hitting their targets? Almost identical movement across the map. Wild Hide delays to crush a worker. Wraith's got to be careful. Spinning around. Is he paying attention at home? No, he's not. So we have a kill, a full kill. No, he denied that. That's pretty huge. Full kill on the arms dealer while Wraith actually takes out the whole supply. Now, Wraith's got to get his scorp over there and stop this. And basically, he's just got to stay alive because his arms dealer is going to remake. But where are his. Where did that scorp go that he made? Oh, it's over here. Also, Wraith has not collected his crates. Needs to do that. Really nice follow up there from Wild Hide. Really nice follow up. This is bad news for Wraith here. Really bad news. We're missing workers here. We, we haven't collected the crates. This is not the best start. Tunnel denied and not cancelled at this point. Oh, bit of a mistake here from Wild Hide. Losing a tech. Looking really bad from Wraith for Wraith at the moment. I'd like to see these crates collected. I mean, it's not massive, but, you know, it's still free money. Why not? It just takes one worker. So normally when we're looking at players, we look at have they got the right amount of workers. And what we've got going on here is actually the opposite. We have too many workers here. This is a bit of a sponsored walk going on with these boys. That's actually hindering his mining. That is not efficient. And at the moment, other than teching up, I was going to say he's giving Wraith a lot of time to come back into this, but... This is going to be a game changer now. Getting ahead with the oils. Wraith has secured that area, but surely doesn't have any units. I feel like Green should be kicking Wraith off this area. He denies that. Very nice. Yeah, that's literally all Wraith's got at the moment. He has got the Scorp upgrade. He has got a decent amount of workers as well. Denies that harass. It's good. But is still way behind Wild Hide right now. We've got the palace coming up for two thirds of uh, completion. We've got another Tectera being prepared, and we've got the oil already established. And what do you do? How do you come back in a situation like this? You could throw a few demo traps down and hope that Wild Hide runs half his army into them. That's something you could do here. Bunker this supply ASAP and take the best engagements you can. Maybe prepare a TT and try and get rid of these oils as well whilst there's not too many tunnels here. But this is really good. And we have a big engagement. nice little drop off with the TTs but Wraith does have some backup tunnels this is really good so sometimes you'll see players just have the one tunnel maybe even two and then they get totally kicked off an area with, uh, with a technical with a few terrorists in it at least with the multiple tunnel it gives him a chance to actually defend this and the Scorps are beating the quads but He's got to deal with those RPGs, that's the problem. 
I mean, not the greatest engagement for Wild Hide, but at this point, he's so far ahead, he'll probably take it. He kicked Wraith off that supply. And here's the Wraith special right now. You've heard of a Jarman on a bike. Well, this is a worker on a bike. And it is uh, the Wraith special, so he's going to try and sneak that across the map and it's denied and basically hope to get a sneaky tunnel and <laughs> he had an attempt on both flanks behind Green's base but I don't think it's going to be enough even if he gets it up we've got Jarman out we've got demo upgrade surely ready yep yeah, it's complete and he has the whole map at this point and he does see this and it's denied. At this point, you are kinda, you know, just drawing out the loss, staying in the game. Two oils, three supplies, superior army, superior tech, battle bus being prepared, yeah. I mean, Wild Hyde can do whatever he likes at this point, he can spam and just win, he can hold and just win. We don't like spoilers, but uh, I see no coming back for Wraith here. Yeah, and this is something, as we go through this series, despite not having the best sort of start this game, Wraith has got to stay on, stuff, on top of stuff like this. You can't be mining with three workers when, uh, when you're this far behind. Jarman in there as well. And he has managed to bunker that bus. So just a little tip there, rather than evacuating everything, he could have left a few RPGs in there simply because that uh, battle bus was at half health there. So a little bit of a mistake to withdraw everything. I mean, Ray's trying to make something happen. He knows he has to at least try and retake this area, but here come the bikes. And, oh boy, decent X in the end. It looked like it was going to be a bigger hit than that, but the RPGs are hidden. It's just way too much damage here. Way too much damage. Here's the second bike. Getting rid of that tunnel, we've got another bus in the mix. It's not enough. Probably the worst possible engagement Wild High could do here, but you know, it doesn't matter. He's this far ahead. He could rally units at this point to just clear this area. That's looking pretty safe. We got two scuds. A little bit of a, ooh, it's a little bit borderline taunting your opponent that, throwing down two scuds. But he's got the money, right? He's still got nearly 4K in the bank. Still got enough to hold off any attack. And I'm sure when this goes off, Wraith is going to GG out as soon as he sees this scud. Don't think there's any. Don't think it's worth hanging around. I don't think there's any point of him hanging around at this point. Oh, and demo ambush as well. Yeah, that was enough to GG out. And there's the scud as well. 
to add insult to injury. So that is 1-0. Pretty convincing win for Wildhide there. So let's get the scoreboard up and running. So that is a 1-0 for Mr. Wildhide. Pretty clean play there. Let's have a look at chat. I've had no comments on how the sound is, which I'll take that as a good thing, because I'm sure someone would say if uh, if there was a problem. And we're going to have, ladies and gentlemen, the big Spalding join me for game number two. So let's give Mr. Spaulding a ring. Hello there. Hello, hello. Mr. Oh, hi Mr. Spaulding, how are we doing? I'm doing fine, how about you? Yeah, a little bit rushed, a little bit stressed. I managed to get here a touch late. But um, okay. the players are fine, they were happy to delay it a bit and... Uh, we are into the matches, so um, we've That's had nice. game number one with Wild Hide winning pretty convincingly here. We're now over to the the random and the alternate al alternating map choice, so this will be quite interesting. Okay. And Rafe yeah, I saw the end of game one. It looked kind of one-sided. Right. With Hyde having the whole map. Yeah. Right. So on the left in the green, currently one nil up. With Laser General, we have Wildhide. And on the right, in red, we have Wraith as the demo channel. So what do you make of this map? I mean... It, I'm surprised this map is in the map pool, first of all. Yeah. But secondly, um, I guess it's good. It's fine for demo, isn't it? Because you're forced to go one supply, as you say. I think it probably... But then again, Humvees are so hard to stop on this map. Yeah, but... So if you don't get your tech tear in, you're just screwed here, I think. Oh, know, we see two arm stealers by way. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure about this. I mean, I think GLA is pretty good on this map, and you could just make a line of tunnels, maybe. Take the building and the bunkers and stuff. But he's going for a pretty all-in strategy here, it seems. All right. It's going to be interesting to see if um, Wild Hide maybe gets a Crusader at some point. Could be helpful against pure tech spam. Yeah. And Wraith was actually demo, so those techs are going to be more expensive as well with what he's doing, but. If he gets a mass of them, let's see. It all comes down to the control on a map like this. Mm -hmm. I, I think, think Wade maybe him... could have killed the dozer. Oh, he's still going to get it. Oh, he did get the dozer, but... The players aren't using these two buildings in the middle. Oh, which... so Wildhead is already dozer hunted now. Yeah, I just saw that down here. So we have no dozers. <laughs> And... Oh, that could be painful. No War Factory right. either. So it's all about these Vs now. It's all about this mm -hmm. push. Can Wraith hold it? And I'm not sure he can at the moment. Yeah, this is still going to be a close game, most likely. He's loading he up some RPGs. He needs to preserve his technicals, I think, and go for a counter-attack, most likely. But he doesn't have a whole lot. No. Just three technicals if he saves that one. No, he tries to fight the Humvees. It's gonna be super... I think he should have tried to finish off Wild Hide space. It's gonna be super difficult now though with that vetted Humvee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess in this situation, try and get a few more terrorists out. 
and finish the base off. He just simply right. doesn't have enough units to contest that V army. But he looked a bit hesitant about his build. He did a sort of two war factory tech terror tunnel spam. Don't really have the money for everything. Yeah, the problem is like, even if he was to eventually deal with these Humvees, Wildhide would still be producing Rangers and MDs the whole time from his barracks, and yeah, you would you would still struggle against that afterwards. Mm. Would like him to target the tunnel to the more damaged V there. You've mm. at this point got to hope that the Humvee player makes some sort of drastic error to give you yeah, any hope. Yeah, what he did towards the end. Good control by Wild Tide though. Yeah. His and I think, unless Wraith makes a scaffold, which he has, I was about to say that barracks in the bottom left was the last building, but he's made a scaffold. And he was trying to get the oil upgrade, which got denied. He didn't get it in time. So yeah, this is over. Yeah, even if he gets the oil, I don't see him coming back at this point. Maybe trying to get lucky with the demo trap was his best chance. Yeah. Once you are that far behind. That's a very fast 2-0. Very fast. Well, we're over to Wild Hide's map choice, and he's looked pretty convincing in both games so far, I must say. Mm -hmm. I've not seen too much of Wild Hide in terms of his play in other games or other series, but I heard he was confident coming into this, and um, I guess you can see why so far. He's playing really well, playing confident. I agree. I think he was one of the favorites for the semi tournament or the okay. low semi. must admit, I'm not reading my chat too much, but um, I think uh, Wraith's got a fan in the chat, Mr. Fargo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Saying that slightly tongue-in-cheek. Well, this tournament, after the initial mirror, is a random reverse. So now, changing armies in the right side of the map, we have Wildside with the Demolition General. And on the left, we have Wraith as Laser. Now already here you see a completely different approach from Wild Hide. Again, I'm not sure if it's what I'd do. Although, maybe I'm not the person to comment on what to do with GLA, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not sure this is what I would do. But it's, uh, I think, better than what Wraith did with the double arms dealer attempt off one supply. Um, I don't mind it, actually. Like, going for a tech tear and going for the oils. Yeah. Oh, but I think he's just spamming terrorists, I guess, from, oh, okay. from both barracks. A mass terrorist spam. Meanwhile, as expected, you're getting a, a no eco V push from the laser. Oh, that Dosa is going to get in, though? That's going to be massive. Mm hmm. No reaction. Especially when you're on one supply to begin with. No reaction. He's just not seen that at all. Nope. Well, Wraith as well surely must see this tech, so he's got to try and intercept this technical. He's moving towards it. Oh. Oh. Oh, he. What? 
But it only blew up the reactor and a lot of MD. It got, I so. think, three to four MDs there. Yeah, it wasn't bad, the tech there, but at least his war factory or supply survived. But at home, he's on no money right now. He's just uh, re-established his workers, so I think the next tech's going to be pretty crucial. And Wraith does not see that top tunnel. He's moving out with his one Humvee here, losing the MD to the tunnel. Could have just dropped that here. I don't know if Wraith is panicking a little bit here. There's quite a few mistakes. Right, and if he goes across the map with his Humvee, he probably should have tried to crush the workers with it. So at least Wild Hyatt would be completely all in. Yeah. But Wraith doesn't have dozers, and there's enough RPGs there to finish his buildings before he finishes the GLA. Mm hmm. So just a little bit indecisive here on what potentially looked really good, but he has no dozer, no buildings. He has no dozer, so he has to go back actually. He can't but... leave his buildings like that. No. Nope. Oh dear. That's a very fast 3-0. Oh dear. Right, let's get that score updated. So is it best of nine? Or best of 11 now. Is it best of 9? I think it's best of 9. Let's check the topic. Format. This is round... Is this round 2 or 3? I think it's round 3. So this is actually a best of 11. Yeah, this is a best of 11. With the winner facing the winner of Amon and Ostimosis. So I don't know if those two have played yet, but according to the bracket, they haven't. But yeah. wow, we have a 3-0 start to this series. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind this be right back two minutes from Wraith. When you go this fast into three losses, into a series, sometimes it's good to just uh, splash some water on your face, reset yourselves a bit, calm down, and um, yeah, focus on what you're actually doing for the next games because Wild Hide's playing solid, but Wraith just looks a little bit shaky to me from what I've seen. Yeah, well tied so far. Plays pretty well, I would say. Yeah. What does the uh, chat make of it? <laughs> I think Wraith's gone into my chat, <laughs> deleting Fargo messages. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm not going to tab too much to keep an eye on the chat. We'll focus on the games. But uh, yeah. we don't mind a little bit of banter, but try and keep it civil. Have a little run to the park, Fargo, if you need to calm yourself down. And remind yourself what happened in your last challenge before you get too cocky. <laughs> ah, he's about to win his first tournament soon, I think. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Nice subtle comment there. Right, so we are awaiting uh, Wild Hide's map choice here, and we're awaiting uh, Wraith to uh, to gather himself a little bit. Wraith's gone Homeland Rock. So is it the case that the loser always picks? Maybe it is. I wondered if it was alternating maps. But perhaps the loser always picks here and he's gone for Homeland Rocks. I actually don't know. I think it might be loser always picks. Right. But we see we hear neither one complaining, so we'll just go with it. Mm -hmm. So Wraith is in the top 
as Vanilla USA in red. And in the bottom, in green, we have Wild Hide with Toxin. Mm -hmm. So what would you prefer to be on this map? You know, there's an argument for Tox, because there's quite a few buildings, actually, on the map. Mm -hmm. There's the, the high ground area behind the back of the USA's base, which yep. can be super annoying to clear if you just drop a tech RPG on either side. I agree. Um, mm -hmm. Decent amount of money on the map as well. Oil supplies. So as matchups go, I think it's a winnable matchup both ways, but you know, maps can have a bearing and uh, I think this mm -hmm. is, can, this could potentially be tricky for USA. Yeah, we see one small mistake by Wave collecting from the same crate. Yeah. Or at least he was at the beginning. And I think so... he still is, yeah. He's gonna box in his Dosa now. Interestingly though, Wild Hide hasn't had a massive map presence with uh, his tunnels. He just has one up the middle. And he's trying to get this bunker on the right, but Wraith is denying that. I think it's a good choice. There are some terrorists walking around. Oh. In the middle. Maybe he forgot this. them. Yeah. Were they supposed to be in this? No, they weren't. This is a tech RPG. Bit of a premature drop off there. Also, I would have liked to see him go for the back. Um, where you said Agreed. it's He's doing quite that vulnerable. No naughty comments in chat about premature drop-offs, by the way. <laughs> and we see another technical on the right side as well. Yeah, and... Felt like the slowest ever movement, but it's going to get in nonetheless. Oh, ah, but yeah. That was really close, actually, it was to that being repair. prepared enough. Yeah, yep. that was why I was making noises. I thought he might just get lucky there Wraith and be able to repair that in time. But that's pretty strong by Wild Hide. Like microing two technicals at the same time. It's not something I would have expected yeah. at this tournament. It's not the end of the world just yet though for Wraith, because his economy hasn't really been damaged and his V count is looking pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he deals with this next push of techs. Yeah, and this is the thing about this map. This is just absolutely awful to go around chasing these all day. Right. Again, nicely done by Wild Hide, though. Having two technicals on the right side and one on the left supply. Yeah. He's playing pretty well. Yeah, really well. Gotta bring that ambulance. It is on the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. Oh, my That's word. pretty strong. Two Vs and he went down to one tunnel. He's got to get that ambulance over here. Because this mm -hmm. push is actually scary. But he can't... Yeah, there's also no protection in front of the arms dealer. Not, no tunnel or anything. Yeah. Critical moment of the game here. Right. So just... No, don't engage. Just kill the arms dealer. We have some bugged out te uh, terrorists on the other side of the map. Neither player are paying attention to it right now. <laughs> I'm just going to look at these. It's the the frozen snowman of terrorists. All three of them. Oh, now they blew up. Hit. And Wraith needs to save his last dozer. I think he will. Just, well, his units will. No, I think the RPGs are oh, coming no, together. Oh, no, the RPGs are... Yep. It's also been a bit indecisive with his Humvees. Like mm. the arms dealer is still rebuilding, the supply is still alive. Yeah. He, I think he went back to kill the barracks. I like the move out. It just was hesitant. Mm. It, it was delayed because the ambulance was late. And he's, he's killing tunnels rather than the important stuff. Right. Kill the supply, kill the arms dealer. 
regardless of that, the multi-pronged harass I just think has been too much. I agree with you. I, it's impressive what he's done this game. And um, I mean, for anyone, that's hard to deal with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The longer he waits with these and doesn't do anything, the worse it gets. He's got to, got to cause some damage with those Vs. Yeah, well, it should probably get a German. He got one now. Yeah. Also, I hope there's men in the palace. Now these buggies, these two buggies that got built, should never have been allowed to be built. He was on the arms dealer with no protection. Right. And Probably should have also just left one Humvee after killing the arms dealer to also stop the collection of yep. the supply. And he's scared about these RPGs, but with a bit of pullback micro, you can take them out and... Maybe also, when you have no one? money and no production, it's not a good time to be scared of losing units. Yeah. Yeah. Time is not exactly in your favor. Agreed. And while Hyde has now done everything he needs to do, he's bunkered up, taken uh, third supply, got that Jarman you were talking about. Even the Tox Tunnels alone are holding off these. Last two sad V's here. Yeah. And we got a... We see a buggy yeah. finishing off a reactor. A lone buggy. Not you don't something see you that. see every day. No, you don't see that every day. <laughs> buggy for the win. GG. 4 nil. Well, I kept these boys waiting, which I've already apologised about. But um, Wild Hyde is, uh, is certainly entertaining. He is putting in convincing performances and wins, well. yeah. yeah. How are we doing, chat? Is Fargo behaving? Oh, Google's saying sore throat spalling. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm X-Girl with the robot voice. <laughs> We gotta add some animation. <laughs> oh dearie me. Tough crowd. Hard to please. <laughs> no, I'm just feeling for Wraith at this point. I mean, it's not fun when you get whitewashed in a series. As I'm sure if he's still in chat, Fargo can tell you guys about the Google Fargo series. It's not easy when that happens. So, curious to see if Wraith will do as good of a job with Tux now. Mm. Yeah, I mean, minimum, I'd like to just... Even if it's not multi-pronged, it can still be annoying just to get the tech RPGs behind the supplies. Doesn't mm -hmm. have to be two things at once. I think he needs a win here just to give him a bit of confidence because this has been pretty rough so far. I agree. Now... If it's me looking at this, I'm licking my lips because these dozers have not been boxed in. <laughs> <laughs> these dozers are out in the open, folks. Let's look at them. And that what that means is that you can pick them off and then every building you kill cannot be remade. Dreamland. He's being quite conservative, so he's not doing the meta in terms of sending one dozer out to uh, to maybe run out over a worker. Mm -hmm. He's just driving around with them, really. He's not doing that much. Going for a quick ambulance. 
let's see if we react to it. So who was it that set this meta of the ambulance? Um, Logica was someone who was doing this a lot before I, I think came back. And he's very good against Tox for obvious reasons. The tunnels, as you can see here, don't do anything to them. Yeah. Yeah, we it, recommended it to him. Right. It seems to be, so that, I mean, one for a start, really good advice. Wraith went in and but the thing is, you then. can't do it every game. If you do it every game, then your opponent's just going to leave the technicals nearby. Yep. And you just scrap up the technicals. But it's good to throw in, I think. Well, it's and fallen at out. At this of... level, it's probably good to just do it every game. Yeah. I mean, it's fallen out of the meta a bit, but it can certainly take you off guard. And it's taken Wraith off guard a little bit there. It's uh, done its job. I mean, as soon as you kill two or three workers, it's already worth it, I think. Yeah. And that's not too hard to accomplish. And it can just outright win you the game as well. What we have though is a Wraith special. And a Wraith Sneaky special tunnel in the top left. is a tunnel in the opponent's base. So Wildhide could collect from the middle right now with his Chinox. Yep. Let's see if he does that. Yeah, it's kind of pointless to have four in your main base. Mm -hmm. You're not really increasing your economy by doing that. So even if you send the other ones to mine in the middle and you lose them, as long as you dropped off once or twice, it's still better than having four in your main base. Now, Wraith doesn't need to do this. He's already denied the mining. He doesn't Wait, need to he... lose his army to a fire base. What is probably the better response is to slow down a third or get the oil. People really love attacking fire bases. I mean... That was better for the USA. <laughs> Definitely. You know. And meanwhile, he's lost his advantage, which was that really annoying, awkward tunnel. Right. And this is where it gets really hard as GLA, I think, when you have no forward tunnel up. Yeah. Yeah. And he also doesn't have enough technicals or RPGs to try to bring a worker with him and establish a tunnel. I mean, look at this. This is one, two, three, four, five Vs. This is scary. I think Wildhead is also doing a bit of a mistake. Shouldn't really bother with this building and this tunnel. No. Should just go around. Really nice pop. I would have liked that last V picked off. A little bit slow moving back there. That was a bit more aggression from Wraith. The right sort of aggression. I like that. Why? Oh. Well, he got that V, but didn't bring these other techs with him. Oh, the ambulance. Maybe turn around, try to pick off one of the Vs. Or pop your techs. Kill, oh no. Oh, he killed one at least. But yeah, but he lost so much there. That was <laughs> lost too much. That was the Fargo pop. We've had it all this game. Wait, getting the oil behind this? It's kind of fortunate for Wraith that Wildhide spent so much time clearing the tunnel. Yeah, for sure. He just went for his base. Would be that by now. Could have... Bit of an engagement coming here. He's pulled back. I was going to say, could go through this clear path between the, the cliffs. Could have just mm -hmm. gone through there. Right. That's uh, what I meant. Yeah. There was nothing to stop him there. Do you, do you try to tech tear at this point? Like, you, you gotta try something, right? Yeah, you gotta GLA. try something. And the toxin demo traps aren't really good, so... Seems like the only option you have at this point is trying to tech tear the army, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm oh, so, so close to killing that one Humvee. Yeah. I mean, I'm picking at small things, like we've picked at the delaying on the bunker and not boxing. But other than that, I've been really impressed with Wild Hide. Yeah, I agree. I...
To me, it seems as good as a lot of the people in the high semi tournament. Yeah. From what I see. Well, I don't know the names, but I think in, in both uh, brackets, upper and lower, there was talk about some players who were weak for one and strong for the other. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard to do the divide, right? You're always going to get that. Right. See Wraith beaconing the strategy sender. Yeah. Probably can't do much about it though. Going for a bit of a counter attack. Got one Dosa. Yeah. But the fire bases have actually worked out great for Wild Hide this game. Yep. It really dealt with the first tech RPG blob and Yeah, just there again. Paying for itself. Mm-hmm. He does like engaging bunkers, but at this point... Right. He's so far ahead, yeah. it really doesn't matter. Yeah. The race slows down the GG. Woo. 5 CO. Yeah. So Wraith has to win six straight to, uh, to take this series now. But they're playing Wild Hide was the favorite for this turn, in my opinion. Might be. Mm -hmm. Maybe so chat knows Wraith something won. about that. Is he is he favorite for this? Yeah, Wild Hide was favorite. Someone else has said as well. So, yeah. People are agreeing with you, Spalding. You know your I think stuff. the other one is probably Spell. No, I was just reading a chat comment as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd done your homework. I was like, crikey, he knows the, the favourites for this. <laughs> the way I'd look at this, though, I mean, it's really good experience for all the players in this tourney, right? They can get a bit of tourney experience. And yeah, I like these... the idea of this tournament a lot. Yeah, and although these losses might hurt, you should feel the level of what a potential winner of this tournament is and, and try and close the gap a bit in your own practice. You shouldn't just get disheartened or feel bad about it. I mean... Right, most of them don't have much experience, yeah. I assume, playing in tournaments. So, uh, it's a nice first step. Definitely. So based on that loser picks, Wraith has got another map choice here. I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious why he picked Homeland Rock so, because he favours maps with lower economy, and that seemed a little bit of a bunkery slash highish economy map, really. Um, Wild Hide giving a shout out to Google. Yeah. Okay. This is a map I've not seen too much of. Do you know this map at all? I do, yeah. yeah. There's an oil at the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. I've played it a few times and it it seems like the the way it's set out, there's three major chokes here. There's like two channels and the main channel up the middle. Um, yeah, the supplies at the third base are kind of strange up the hill. It's a lot better for USA than for the other right. armies. Yeah. Well... That being said, we have a pretty unbalanced matchup do. here. With yeah, we have Wraith. Yeah, we have Wraith on the left with Air Force. And Wild Hide on the right as super weapon. And I guess at this point, with Wild Hide knowing it's a random reverse, he's probably quite happy about this. Mm -hmm. Because when you're having this lead, who cares if you drop a game when you're pretty much guaranteed or most likely to have the win in the reverse. But let's see how this pans out. 
interestingly, um, a war factory by Wildhide. Yeah, with I would have probably exp expected two barracks and a lot of infantry. Mm -hmm. I believe there were rangers in there and a dozer. So, why? Don't think we need three guesses for what Wraith is going for. <laughs> <laughs> He's been watching you. Yeah. He needs a few rangers as well, though. With this build, you can afford a V and a combat Chinook. Mm hmm. I guess, okay, then you just get the Humvee to deal yeah. with the Rangers. That's fine. Well, there's the combat Chinook. That EM Patriot is definitely not going to get up. There's the V. So you pretty much have the perfect counter there. You have the V for the Rangers. Mm hmm. Combat Chinook for the, the Dozer. Alright. Now well, there's only one Humvee left, and that's not going to be enough against the combat channel. No, looking really good for Wraith here. And I have to say, although yeah, you've even got... the evac and the laser locking looked pretty quick by Wildhide. Yeah. But you know, as much as Air is grossly favoured. You still got to close it out. You can still, if you're not careful, lose to, as you say, a mass drop or letting the Patriot get up, something like that. Right. Yeah, he's so down the GG. So I'm so pleased for Wraith right. that he's got right. uh, got one on the scoreboard there. Yeah. But how is he going to approach the reverse? Needs a. Uh, it's a tough one. Needs a bit of luck and some really good play here to keep himself in this tournament. Yeah, I don't really know what you can do there. I mean, it's probably going to involve a few barracks, maybe trying to get lucky with an EMP. Yeah. You could do a mass drop followed by an, an oil grab behind it and then go from there. I don't think you can Patriot drop and get a War Factory, so that's the first build I've seen from Wild Hide, which I didn't really like. Um, I agree. I hope Wraith doesn't copy it. <laughs> I hope so as well. <laughs> And I wonder if Wild Hide will just go for the Combat Chinook. There's a few ways you can play it as air. I've noticed different players like to do different things. Some just do the dual supply and follow that with either two barracks or just standard barracks war factory. You have right. others who like a sort of a Rax airfield combination. Um, mm -hmm. So there are actually a few ways you can play it as air. Yeah, I agree. But it, the moment, looking, this is going to be the crucial bit. What does he throw down? He throws down a war factory. <laughs> is this going to be the same? There's a lot of MDs coming here. It does. Uh, also really nice there. I mean, droning to pick off the spy drone as well. Sorry, scanning to pick off the spy drone. Yep. Well, Wraith's already getting across the map. And he's trying to get some oil as well, by the look of it. Definitely looks like a combat chinook so far. How many MDs have we got here? Well, he wouldn't stop his MD production, I guess, if it was. Three MDs. Hmm. The V's out. He's gonna laser lock that. Oh, he oh, dropped it's... way too close. Oh, nice X, though. Yeah. Oh, and he didn't, didn't move the dozer. Great X there. Nice to use of the Chinook as well, by yeah. Hyde. Maybe could have kept the combat Chinook around just briefly. Yeah. But so he's got to be making prepared. mass MDs at home and rallying him, rallying them to his supply. And yeah, I think they're not close enough to his supply. Agreed. He's moving them now. So he's probably going to end up losing at least his Dosa and probably a Chinook as well. He 
got the oil, but he's forgot to move one ranger to the bottom oil, which is pretty big, actually. He's dozerless as well, but I guess that doesn't matter. If he deals with this combat Chinook, and it is, it is damaged. Yeah, also Wild Titan not building a second Chinook in his main. Yeah. So he's not as far ahead as he could be. It's not terrible for Wraith, even if he loses that, because he's going to have two oil and... Oh my oh, word! He got it. That is big. That is pretty big. As you say, with the one Chinook at home... Oh, this is such a shame for Wraith, though. If he'd have sent that Ranger there, rather than yeah, just he... clicking, he would have two oil by now. Mm hmm. Okay, he got another Chinook. Not mining with it, though. Or dropping. Yeah. And he's Given got... how many MDs he has, I probably would have liked to see him just drop them in Wild Heights base, try to stop his collection. Well, there's been something very odd from Wildhide. He's just sold his war factory. And he's dozerless. Oh. Why would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think to get an MD count into the Vs, but... Wraith oh. is just loading up the biggest drop you've ever seen. And, well, if he deals with those three Vs, this could get very interesting. I would like to see Wraith mining a little bit, maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> just a tiny bit. Where is this drop? It's over here now. And it looks okay. like there's a V being dropped as well. But in a way, with two oils... Nice laser lucky. Yeah. Got to retarget it. Oh. Guns Both down, not paying it? attention to Wraith's base. Wraith about I mean... to lose his reactor. I guess he doesn't know. Well, he must know now that he's dropped, but the priority is just kill the Vs. Mm -hmm. Just kill those three Vs. It doesn't matter about the air's production at this point. Right. He's got to be careful where how he drops those. Oh, my word. Wildhide is not paying attention at all. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, well he, got he got one. one. He got okay. one. Okay. Two Humvees left. Like this man blob at the bottom oil, I'd like to be sent across the map as well. He's got the other V, <laughs> Wraith. Are you doing oh, this? Oh, nice. As you say, I'd like a Chinook at this point. We're, we're five minutes into the game with, with no mining. <laughs> Yeah, the big main supply is still untouched. Two oils are massive, though. I mean, bring mm -hmm. those rangers with you, mate. Bring the rangers. Two Chinooks from Wraith are just AFK here at the bottom. But this is what I was saying. I mean, people talk about, oh, they don't like random reverse you get some imbalanced matchups, but sure, there's one player has an advantage from the start, but they've still got to close it out. And you can That's see true. here, this is actually getting very interesting. He's got to pay attention to this V. It's kind of all on this V right now. Yeah, Walter is probably still kicking himself for selling his war factory. Yep. I mean, laser lock the Chinook if it's there. Laser lock it. Nope. Going for the power. I'm slightly worried for Wraith just because he's still not mining. Yeah. But he has both oils. Yeah. So. He could have so much more army if he mined right now. So much more. Mm hmm. 
Okay, he's got that Chinook. Houston, we are mining. <laughs> we see one big drop by Wildhead, who's now also not leaving one Chinook behind, so he also can't mine anymore. They're not into mining their supplies very much. <laughs> Neither player have flashbangs. And I think Wraith has more. I think Wildhide... You've probably just seen the amount Wraith's actually got. Oh, yeah. Going for the oil now? Okay. Yeah, and he's decided, let's take this a bit slower and get rid of the oil. So, I'd like to see Wraith get his second Chinook. Just to be level on economy, now that the two Chinooks of green have gone back as well. Okay, so both oils are about to be destroyed now. Yeah. And for me, this is out of position. This army of men for Wraith is grossly out of right. position. And I'm not sure quite where he's looking. I think he's focused on that V. And he's lost his Chinook and he's going to lose his supply here. And that is such a shame because I felt like he actually was oh. in a winning situation. Yeah. But not now. Well, it doesn't really change much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have production with economy against... He did pick that off. Against no economy now. Mm-hmm. And he's got no so now... Chinooks to get him across the map, so... He's got to start yeah, walking. He... He's got to he start walking. To start. Yeah, exactly. You can't sit back anymore. The issue is now, though... Yeah, you just have to take a bit of a gamble. Of course, you can't lose your last two buildings, but if you're not going to move across the map now yeah. to kill him, how are you going to win the game? It's <laughs> a little bit of dialogue mid-chat, uh, mid-game. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Green's right. Just sit there and build units. Yeah, exactly. Wraith has to be the one attacking here. Why is he asking him to come engage? He's not going to engage you until he has yeah. mined out the supplies on the rest of the map. Yeah. That's what he should be doing, at least. Yep. Yeah. You can even add a few more Chinooks if you want. Yeah. Wraith had this, man. <laughs> He had the oil, he just needed to spread his units out a little bit better, get on that mining a little bit faster. And he had this. He had more economy and more units. Yeah, we really need to start working across the map here. He's not gonna. It really isn't, as you say. <laughs> It isn't uh, Wildhide's move. He doesn't have to at all when he has production. You could see why they both might want to sit if Wraith had his supply, just to not give away right. needless XP. But it, in this situation, his advantage is diminishing in terms of army mass as the seconds tick by. Not often that you see in a strategy game. Both players sit back, neither one attack. <laughs> no, I think if he went immediately, he maybe could have won even. Like, he has a lot of uh, rangers with his yeah. army. But as soon as he lost that supply, the issue was he could drop his V to just kill the buildings, I guess. All right, you've you got to leave, I don't know, three or four MDs behind yeah, and hope that's yeah. enough. But, yeah, I mean, this is not... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Wraith, this is the wrong call completely. And what makes it more is... 
if Wraith is thinking, I'm just going to sit here and take a better engagement to mm -hmm. hope that I get to Pathfinders, he doesn't even have money for Pathfinders. Oh, that's true. So, even that argument of... Hoping your opponent just... Yeah. Wastes, wastes his army. Yeah. Doesn't work. And he can't even sell to get Pathfinders. I mean, Wild Hide doesn't have to do this. Alright. I think he just got a bit impatient yeah. as well. So maybe that's what Wade was hoping for, but I, I think that's a lower chance of winning than just moving across the map immediately. Hoping your opponent gets impatient. And he actually has enough Chinooks to deny mm -hmm. the laser locks. And he seems to have full flashbangs in there. That is having a field day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the set. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty fast 6-1, considering my um, my own issues of being a bit late and arriving here at what, whatever it was. <laughs> that set has been finished pretty quick. GG's. So, nice way to end there. I am actually going to point that out, just to give the GG and the good luck for the next round. Yep. I'm a promoter of respecting your opponent. I agree, even if you lose. Yeah. So, I'm just going to finish that scoreboard with a very convincing 6-1 there for Wild Hide. Well, it was nice of you to join me, but didn't feel yeah, like fun. we were chatting that long to be honest <laughs> <laughs> no it was pretty short for uh what was it best of 11 now yeah yeah all right all right and there we are so just before i close things out i'm just going to remind the viewers what that means for this tournament so who do we actually have in round four we have vladik who's in round mm -hmm. four at the top of this bracket Still quite a few games not to be played there. You've pointed out Spell, who is someone who probably quite favoured as well for this tourney. Um, got Queen Muff in there as well. Will potentially face Spell if she gets through her round. And yeah, a couple of other sets which are going to be quite interesting. So a lot of entries into this. It's good to see it so active. But, yeah, it's great. I think there should be more tournaments like that. Yeah, we have Wild Hide as the second quarter finalist now going into that next round. So, really well played. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I heard a couple of sub noises during that round. So, I will thank whoever that was for the sub. As I say, sorry for the delay in the start, but we managed to get those games casted and viewed. Thank you, everyone, and of course to you, Spalding, for joining me and tuning in. I believe we shall me. end it there. So we'll see you next time, guys.